Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So today, um, in the process actually between episodes of repairing the mechs, um, we got this uh, random encounter here. Basically, um, Dr. Murad knocks on our door unexpectedly. Commander, we have a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm not supposed to share this, but Morgan Kell is contacting me directly. He needs my expertise to study a rare piece of lost tech. Slow down. The Morgan Kell? I know, he's a living legend, Dr. Murad smiles widely. Unfortunately, there aren't many records on, on how 400-year-old technology works. I know it's a lot to ask, but if you can grant me one week, half a million C-bills, and a dozen mech techs, I think we can really help him. Not bad potential ally, right? So we have a choice of um, declining. Um, we'll give her support. Um, or just no support at all, but we're gonna go we got the money or the sea bill So let's go this route see what happens. Oh We get a double heat sink Wow, that's it One double heat sink One That's it we're targeting this guy now that's crazy One double heat sink I don't even know what to say to that. All right. <laughs> okay. So what we did is we uh, we look how much the catapult had like I don't know how many days left. Now it's got 39. All right. So uh, what I did was let's go to the mech base real quick here. Okay. So we got the uh, grasshopper, the victor, um, and the hunchback up and running. The catapult's still underway. I figured we could probably squeak in one more mission before the financial report, which looks like we can. So we can either run the Centurion or Bushwhacker. So we're going to choose a mission here. We're going to go for full sea bills because we definitely need it now. Um, I was really hoping for some better loss tech out of that, but uh, we got what we got, I guess. So let's go to the command center for today, see what we got, what kind of contracts we got down here. We got a couple of uh, two and a half. Now this one's on guard. What's this one? Hell of a propaganda defending a base. It's always more tricky than it's worth, I think. The payout's pretty good. These are really lousy payouts. Cease and desist. Destroy base. I'll tell you what. Um, let's take this cease and desist really quickly, one skull, and then we'll jump planets and take on another mission right afterwards. Um, so let's negotiate this. We're going to take full sea bills um, because we need it right now. And we're going to deploy with... Uh, let's put the bushwhacker in. And uh, let's get this sucker done. Let's do this one real quick. All right, here we go. Jungle. Okay, the base is over there. Not so bad. Additional patrols, okay. Let's get this kills done and get out of here. Uh, where's our evac zone? Who knows? Okay, so the one big difference that we have now in our lance is that uh, Rocky was able to pick up uh, sensor lock as an ability. All right. And we were able to increase uh, Hellcat and Rhino's tactics to seven, so we have longer sensor distance now. However, the uh, Hunchback, we lost the uh, Warfare Suite out of this. It was a two-ton Warfare Suite. Um, and I wasn't able to replace it with the other one because it was three tons. That We had another one kicking around. So what I did instead was to put a, uh, a uh, TTS in there for lasers to give us more accuracy. And then I put um, another ton of armor on it. We were a little low in armor in the legs and the back, so I just sort of added another ton of armor. Standing. All right. I copy. Enemy detected. Okay. Standing by. We got a bunch of turrets. So, you can see here, right? Now more than ever, 
we have to be very, very wary of where we are. So these two here are the, our prime targets now. Normally they'd be the same prime targets as before, but because even if they can't see us, they can shoot us, um, we have to make sure that um, we shoot them now and get them out of the way with. So that's what we're going to do before we come in contact with anybody else. And we're also going to rotate ourselves so that if they do hit us with uh, long range, like uh, uh, artillery and stuff, my God, why is it doing this? That um, they're hitting just the front, not the sides and stuff. So we're going to go after this turret. I have no idea what's there. But let's get rid of it if we can. Or we could shoot for the pretend turret over here. It's only a 75 ton trash, so it's not too bad, I guess. What's up, boss? Yeah, see, now they, those turrets can see me. Don't want that. Um, so unfortunately I gotta stay over here. Yeah, I apologize for the lag here. There's just these maps, certain maps, just really bad for some reason. Okay, let's unload on this guy. We got a really great chance to hit with this, with this mech now. Okay, that guy's gone. Poof. He vanished. Thank you. Thank you very much. My guess is that's probably a hunchback. I don't understand why they're moving so slow. It's almost like it's got to calculate like the targeting information, everything on every every little bit of a move. It's got to calculate something. I don't know if they've fixed that. Uh, once again, I have to run uh, Rogue Tech offline. They did an update for Battletech. Um, I'm not sure if it broke anything in Rogue Tech or not, so didn't want to take the chance and install it. Uh, let's move into here. I'm hoping it fixed things like this. The one thing I'm also um, kind of upset about is that they've changed um, they've changed a couple things. Uh, well, I think it's actually just broken, but um, the pilots, when you hire pilots, you can go in and change what they look like and their names and everything. But then when you come back out, the changes aren't made, at least to the picture. So you're, you you end up with exactly the same photo picture you had. And you know me, I like to have make sure everyone's got the same uniform. Because, you know, if we're going to be like a mercenary company, you want to have damn, the same damn uniform. But it uh, doesn't work, so kind of cheesing me off a little bit. All right, not a bad, not a bad start. Okay, Hetzer. It's got an AC-20. Panther. Hunchback, yeah. Okay, so those missiles come in from the tr probably the turrets. So those are MML threes. I'm here. Okay. Let's do this. Once again, we're only in sight from two from two units here. It's nice having a mix of weapons, then you can tell if it's indirect or direct. This guy's a back shot, so we're going to take the back shot. Mm, pretty low chances to hit there. Although he doesn't have full armor. Can't hit that guy very well, so let's just go after this guy. Fire everything. Come on. Eh, not bad. 
waiting for orders. Once again, positioning myself where they can't actually shoot directly at me. So I'm thinking that um, I'm not really a big jump jet fan. Never really have been. Um, I think the way they implemented it in the original Battletech is so kind of like cheating. The Rotech I think is a little more realistic. But um, I've kind of avoided using jump jets, but I'm thinking it's becoming much more valuable. Oh, he's gone. It's becoming much more valuable in uh, this version of Rotech. It kind of puts it back on the evil, even evil, even playing field again. Because in regular battle tech, like you reserve back to turn one, you jump in and fight, and then you go again and you jump out, and the enemy can't shoot you, and it's just cheating, right? Whereas rogue tech, now that we've got multiple uh, um, Damage minimal. random initiatives, that's not as easily done anymore. It's a little more balanced now, I think. Okay, Hetzer's got to go. I don't like AC-20s. Okay, Steve. Um, increase damage against us, but plus four to hit, or do we just go after something? Can't go after anything. Can't move into here, though, so let's do that. Actually, can we just move there? Nope. Let's get in the trees. Gotta put that mech in the trees. Okay. Do we want the hunchback? It goes on 12. 14. This turret didn't fire last time. My guess is because it's probably got all short range weapons. So I'm gonna warlord and we're gonna go after the hunchback I think. Maximum uh, try to maximize our uh, damage infliction here. Okay. Not having a good day. Ready for orders. Yeah, you got to come out here to hit that guy. All right. Well, let's do it. Don't particularly like doing that, but. You got lots of armor, I think you'll be fine. Once again, gonna warlord, gonna go after this guy. Fire everything. Here it comes. Target's taking a critical hit. Okay, he's got two or four health left, he's going down. One or four health left. Okay. Systems holding. All right, guys, we're back. I kind of missed what happened here. Okay, hunchback got up. Sorry, uh, thirteen-year-old with ex existential crisis. All right, so Hellcat. Um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we're killing these guys. That's right. Uh. I'm thinking. That's not enough movement, is what I'm thinking. We gotta get uh, some good distance. This is way too many eyes on, I think, over here. Um, we got some instability, so maybe we just, well, you know, be okay, I think. Let's, yeah, I wanna minimize my damage. Let's get over here with the laggy move. There we go. And we're going to just shoot this guy like this. Taking the shot. Oh yeah. Enemy eliminated. Sure was. Yes, Commander. Okay, Rock. Show us what you can target here. Roger. So we've already hit that first turret. We're going to hit this one right here. See if we can finish it up. It's taking a little bit of damage. I don't think, well, if you hit with everything, we might be able to. Okay, that should do it. Yep. One less turn. Okay, Pegasus coming in. Let's 
it's gonna be painful if these guys have got reinforcements um, yeah let's move in oh god look at this okay let's go after this is the missile turret not doing much damage let's shoot this guy here maybe we can kill him yep that's no problem I think we can probably just kill that last turret. Oh yeah, I forgot about the head, sir. No, 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 no. Okay, he can't... He couldn't shoot, I guess. Order. Or maybe he's just moving yeah. in to be a scout? I don't know. Yeah, we're just going to shoot him with everything, I think. 110, so the Thunderbolt should take most of the damage off in one spot. Yeah, there we go. Nothing like being sure. Reporting one less vehicle. All right, let's go. Commander, I want you to kill that turret for me, please. Now, if that green line was for a mech. We'd go after the mech, but this turret needs to go. Nice. That turret is gone. Yes, Commander. It is gone. Now we can get our stability back. Still can't see that base, eh? Alright. See this guy though. We'll load it up, fire everything. Roger. Just wanted to increase our chance to hit really, that's all. Can't even hit the base. I guess technically it's not in our visual range. There it is, folks. No. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Really? Costing me money now. Wait, are these buildings? They are. Cool. Thought maybe for a second there was hallucinatory vegetation. Just get over here. Moving fast. Moving real fast. Okay, targeting this guy. Let's kill him. Nice. One more for the trash heap. All right, let's get in and destroy these buildings now. I guess we just, I don't know. Before it used to give us a direct line of sight on the buildings, but I guess maybe now it doesn't. Oh, it does now when you're, guess when you're close enough, I guess. Large, right, he's got 200. I got 150 in damage here. What do we got in this building? 150. Let's take this building out. Nice. It's history. Okay. Let's finish these buildings up and go home. Medium one, let's fire everything on it. Fire it. Wow, two misses. MMLs for the win, though. Payday. Yeah, we'll fire without using up ammo here. Two hundred. Yeah, we should hit with everything and kill it. That's it, folks. Free cash. Alright, increased by 35%. 783,000. Nice. And no significant damage at all. At least it'll be quick to repair when we move. And we got a panther part. Wonderful. Alright, a lot of places changing hands. And 21,000 for repairs. Not too bad at all. Okay, so this 944,000, most of it's going to be going. So we're going to jump out of here. Let's manage our tasks a bit here. Um, 
Yeah, let's just do it this way. So at least we'll have this lance ready to go. Catapult's going to be a bit longer. So let's go to the star map and have a look where we can go here. I'm going to keep heading north. Um, this is for medium. You know what? We don't really have the sea bills and stuff to do that right now. I'm sure more will, will appear as we go. So let's take a short... Oh, this is a short jump. Ten days. Manapire. Manufacturing. Mega City. Three and a half skull planet. So it's pretty good. Starting presence. Battlefield. Nice. No hallucinatory vegetation, but that's okay. We're going to go here. All right, let's accept that. So we're very close to being in a position to have two lances running. Maybe within the next couple of episodes we'll be able to do that. We, de we definitely need more sea bills to get the things up and going though. All right. All the mechs we need are back. Let's have a look at the store really quick. We don't really have any cash for this, but might find something interesting here. Active probe, enhanced zoom. It's pretty much all the same stuff, it looks like. Endo steel. Yeah, Pharaoh, IFF jammer. Oh, what's this? Reinforced structure, increased weight, increased structure. That's interesting. Resistance kind of critical hits. Thermal vision, UAVs, and standard ammo. Okay, so that's not bad. All right, let's look what they got on the planet here. Let's have a look at the contracts. And go to barracks, back to contracts. So at least they made this the contract loading much quicker, which is great. So we've got a bunch of stuff we can do here. It looks like deniable destruction, destroy base. Pretty good payout. Um, fireworks. Target acquisition. Yeah, I would prefer to do the deniable destruction, I think. Pay. Battle. Sporting advanced equipment. Mm. Maybe we do that after, but let's do deniable destruction. We definitely need sea bills right now. So let's do this. And we're going to go 50 50. Uh, actually, let's go 2 of 10. That's pretty good for the uh, Siebel's right there. And we'll stand, uh, uh, deploy our standard lance here and get this sucker done. Ah, oh, good. Alrighty. Don't like this map at all. Ready for action. Okay. So, we've got a lance up here. Okay, Rock, let's get up around this way. I copy. We want to try and get up on the hill up here, I think. Really, the best way to attack the base is to get up on this platform here and attack it from this direction. Commander? So that's what we're going to do. Moving at full throttle. Okay. Okay, you hear a vehicle moving. And another one, maybe? It's at least one. Yeah, so I've uh, done a few starts on these on the uh, the new Rogue Tech with with. Um, in different locations just to see what some of the starting mechs are like. They got new models for a lot of stuff. It's really cool using the uh, with mechs with new models and stuff. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay if we get in the road here. Okay, lag is coming again now that we've encountered the enemy. It must be doing calculations for every hex that you move through. It's the only thing I can think of why it would take so long. I'm receiving you.
Yeah, once again, it's got to be... It's got to be doing calculations for the hexes that you move through. Okay, let's dump some stuff on this guy. Wow, that's not... We might get lucky, but... I want to save the missiles in case there's reinforcements. Yeah, it's just when they move, like in the combat phase, it's a fire truck. Hooray! Scorpion. Panther. Probably going to have reinforcements. I get the sense that that's what will happen. Tactical retreat to the turrets, probably a good idea. Panther going next. I'm hitting the space bar to get them to move faster, but it doesn't seem to be helping at all. Helps a little bit. Okay. Come on. There we go. 23%. 21. 29. 14. So let's try and hit this turret. Might as well. We've got a fair bit of ammo here. Oh, nice. 30% is a reasonable chance to hit, especially at long range. 6%, not so much. Okay. Steve can't really shoot anybody, but let's get him up here. Oh! My god, he can hit the turret from here. Might as well. It's a hundred ton turret. Let's just fire on it. Nice. Four hits, too. I wish they didn't zoom in like this because I want to see what turret that is that's firing. I mean, I know I could leave it zoomed out, but... Waiting for orders. It's always fun to see who's shooting at what here. Okay, let's get up here. Roger that. Should have plenty of evasion. Yeah, six isn't bad. You can shoot the turret. Try and kill this fire truck. Might as well. It's in our way. Okay, one hit. Not bad. And not bad. I think if I hadn't have been sensor locked. All right, let's get up here. All right. Wow, so laggy. Somebody's going here. Who's going? What was that? Is it the turret? Damage minimal. It came from over here. Is 
Let's get down here. Probably not good to be out in the open like that. No idea what that was though. There must be reinforcements or something over there. That's the fire truck moving. Come on, what are you guys doing? So it looks like the standard panther. Standing by. So let's maybe try and hit this fire truck again. Twenty six percent. It would be a kill though, I think. Twenty one. So let's go up to the fire truck. If we hit it's a kill probably. Ugh. That's a turret. Of course. Okay, so they must have got a good initiative. It's nice that the initiative changes every uh, every turn. Huh? Vehicle turret. Turret probably. All right, so we're gonna go hit the, hit this turret up here. I'm sure, we can just hit with the two. Oh, just the ER large, I guess. All right, firing. Uh, nope. Waiting for orders. Um. I think I want to stay off of that runway, or the walkway up here, the ledge. Direct fire missiles from those turrets would be nasty, I think. Let's see if we can, oh my god, 0.9%, no, I don't think so. This scorpion didn't move, I don't think so, 16%, 12%. All right, well, let's fire the scorpion, we'll take the 16%. Uh, a few points anyway. Yeah, gorilla. Ow. That monkey's got a lot of hard hitting stuff. God, the movement is just so painful. It's not enough to make me stop playing the game, but still just really painful. It just seems to be been since the Flashpoint update. Okay, he's not doing anything. All right, let's get in here. Roger that. Come on, there you go. Twelve percent, fifty-seven. That's not bad. Thirty-two. I think it depends on the ECMing on these guys too, right? Twenty-one. 
51. 28. Alright, so let's hit this guy. Best chance to hit. Um, yeah, you just fire. Oh! I have no idea where we hit him, but could have been a headshot. All right, let's get our movement back. Uh, as much as I want to engage this guy right now. Well, we got lots of armor. Screw it. This gorilla is pissing me off. Um, I'm going to warlord this. Gonna, oh my god. Yeah, I'm just going to fire. Please hit with one. Okay, we hit with one. I should have looked at my chances to hit first. Okay, so that's the turret on the left. That could have been worse. And that's the turret on the right. Which has substantially more LRMs. Alright, can we push this gorilla? He's like right here. I can't see him now. He must have an awesome ECM. Let's get into here. Full speed. There he is right there. He's hiding. Um, wow. I can't even see this guy. Just gonna shoot straight on him. Christ, I feel like I'm playing realistic battles in War Thunder. Reporting. Just shooting randomly into the trees, hoping we hit somebody. Uh. Oh. I'm gonna push this turrets. Push the turrets. Push the tempo, baby. Alright. Hardened turret chassis. Standard turret chassis. So I know we can kill this guy. So let's do that. We missed with the large. Damn it. Kind of needed to hit with that one. Here comes the gorilla. Yikes. Reporting serious armor loss. Gorilla's nasty, man. Fire trucks moving. Get into here. I have no idea. Okay, we can hit that with the light rifle. Maybe. Let's do a multi target. Forget it, that's 8%. Let's just attack this turret. Let's see if we can get rid of it. Nice. Less missiles that we have to worry about. Nope, let's get here. Should have saved the Warlord for now, but... Wow, look at the chance to hit. Just gonna fire. Ooh, one hit though. That guy had full armor, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Alright, it's a back corner turret. Oh yeah, I forgot all about that guy. 
He's got MMLs, looks like. Okay, what side is this guy hit on? That side, which is the other side. Let's do this. Got it. And we don't have multi target, damn it. Alright, let's just shoot the turret. Hardened turret, though. Still, we gotta get rid of it. Wow. Gonna really push this gorilla. Confirmed. Hey, you look a lot like me, buddy. Okay. Uh, Warlord for sure. And Vigilance for sure. And dumping everything in this guy's back. Okay, we got lucky there. Enemy eliminated. Hopefully there's some salvage from that. He's gonna come for, oh, I thought he was gonna come for a back attack there. Cooling impaired, walk impaired. Hearing impaired. What's up, boss? Um, keep moving this way. On it. So I don't think the thunderbolt will be enough to kill that turret. But we might be able to kill this guy if we hit him. Nice. Let's go, Steve. Gotta get up there. Okay, at least most of them missed. The MRMs look like they're not they're hidden here. Light damage, Commander. I don't think that's the Oh, he's firing, never mind. Shooting through the buildings. Minimal damage on that hit. I'm here. Okay, let's see if we can finish this turret up. And target this guy. Fire everything. Confirmed. Okay, good. Now we can see if we can kill that back turret with uh, the hunchback. Hi, Rocky. Aye, aye. Max evasion. Shooting the turret. Uh, okay, leave one ER medium off. Okay, nice. Come on, Steve, you're lagging behind. Got all the big guns and you're lagging behind. Okay, you need to hit the turret. Please and thank you. Firing. Nice. Alright, let's kill these buildings and go home. Yeah, we got any small buildings? That's only a hundred. Leave that one off. Just fire to two. Nice. Enemy structure. Bring it down. We just did, Darius. Enemy structure eliminated. Thanks for the commentary, buddy. Thanks for coming out. 150. Oh yeah, we got more than enough to do that. 200. We got enough for that too, I think. Leave the small laser off. Oh yeah. Maybe not. Let's 
Let's do it. One more. There it is, folks. Alright, so 35% increase in payment, which is great. 557000 excellent. We made our next financial report. Some pretty good experience here. Rocky got some more good experience. Steve's going to be up for a bit, but that's okay. we got to repair some stuff, and we got pilots that we can bring in anyway. Alright, let's see what loot we got here. So we can choose two things. Gorilla pieces, maybe. ER mediums are kind of nice. Advanced AMS is nice. Uh, ultra light gyro, not really, not really liking the stability loss on that. These are nice too, but I think advanced AMS I think is probably a good idea. Uh, ER mediums, I don't know. MRM 20. I mean, even with the minus one accuracy, if we had enough of them. Ugh, tough choice here. We still have endo steel, right? Well, no, we don't. Let's take the endo. We gotta fit together, we gotta put together another mech, so. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, we're going to take the proto heat sink kit. We have a couple of proto heat sinks we can use. So that's going to be that's going to be valuable. So let's confirm that. All right, so three gorilla parts, ER medium, nice, two fluid guns, paint. And okay, we actually picked up a bunch of stuff that we were looking at. So that's awesome. All right. Hey, Valkyrie took a world from Wolf, really? Steiner took world world from Wolf? Alright, nice. Alright, 48,000 repairs. That's really nothing. Okay. So that was pretty good overall. We got lots of time before the next financial report. Let's manage our tasks a little better here. Uh, let's bring the Mjolnir up. It's still going to be 9 days regardless. Catapult 12. Um, what do we got? Yeah, we don't need the heaviest. We don't need the catapult back right away. So we're going to load these guys back. Your actions against our interests are earning a, you a powerful enemy commander. Local pirate organization. Com continue to impede pirate operations in this region and you'll pay the cost. Yeah, whatever, buddy. Bring it. We're pirates too. Enough pirate, enough, enough pirating stuff to go around, buddy. All right, guys. So we're gonna end, end the episode here. Next time when we come back, we'll pull off another mission here. Probably make another jump. Keep heading towards the clans. Um, I want to do that like every day, every uh, episode. Definitely want to make another jump towards the clans. Keep heading north, um, or map north. That is. Um, gonna try to make a bigger jump next time because uh, we'll have more sea bills at that point be able to go farther which is what, what our plan was is to make a cup like a double jump so get as far as we can like that's 22 days but we'll look for one that's actually relatively good like 14 days here um but maybe not challenge four and a half skulls something that's going to be a little bit more reasonable so we can make some sea bills and pick up some equipment as we go so yeah that's how we're that's kind of what we're going to be doing all right guys so um yeah all right so we're going to end the episode here if you like to drop a like, um, if you have any suggestions for what we should do, I, I'm kind of feeling a little bit better now about maneuvering my net, my mechs and kind of using the train a little bit more to my advantage. Um, I am one of those players that kind of get, gets anxious and kind of rushes in a lot of situations. Kind of learning now that like you can't do that. We just got to hang back, um, you know, focus down certain enemies and then maneuver and get in. So gonna have to re reorientate my brain a little bit and to get a little bit more successful get our damage against us down so we're spending less time in the mech bay and more time on the field 
So, yeah. All right, so until next time, we'll see everybody later.